Hello guys, I'm Bora and today I'll be solving another physics problem for you. So, uh, this physics problem is, you can find it in chapter 8, problem 78 in University Physics book by Jagger Friedman. So, in the question we have a system consisting of a spring and a frame and a lump of putty. A putty in Turkish translates to as uh, margin or jump margin, but it's just you know some object with a mass. Okay. So in the question, uh, we need to find. Yeah, I'll get to that in a bit. But our initial condition is this. So we have this system: a spring, and on the one end attached a frame. But the frame's mass is zero point one hundred and fifty kilograms, and we can ignore the mass of the spring. And the spring in initial condition is stretched by 0 0.04 meters. Okay? And we have a lump of putty. Its mass is 0 0.200 kilograms. In the question, we are asked to find the height, that, uh, the maximum height or the maximum distance, you might say, that is uh, covered by when this uh, putty is dropped from a height of 30 centimeters with respect to the frame, okay? So this, you know, makes a movement like this. We have this putty, we have this um, plate. It actually oscillates after that, but, you know, at that moment, it goes to a... Um, it goes to a H max, that is the furthest point, the furthest distance from its equilibrium point, okay? And we need to find that H or H max. Actually, H max, but by finding H, we'll um, get to that. We'll get to the H max. So, if you want to solve this question by yourself, you may try now, um, but in a few seconds, I'll be solving it. So, if you want to stop the video now, you may. Okay. So, um, yeah, we, in, for this question, there are several methods to uh, solve this, but, you know, um, I, find, I find the law of conver energy conversation to be the most feasible one for this question. So, it dictates that, it actually dictates this statement, the uh, sum of the initial um, energies has to be equal to the sum of the initial, like, final uh, energies, uh, provided that there is no external force on the system, okay? So our system is our system consists of these three objects: putty, spring, and um, frame. So um, initial velocity of the system, the of the system, I mean, all of them, is zero because everything is at rest, and the potential energy at initial moment is you know I've defined this um, height to be the ground then you know this I make this H depicted this um, distance of H so uh, we have our spring poten springs potential energy which is one half times K the spring constant times um, the displacement from the equilibrium point which is the, at the initial point we have 0 0.04 meters okay it's squared actually plus um, those potential energies, those two objects actually, we, we, we have the reference, not reference, but frames potential energy and the putty's potential energy, as you can see from here. So um, in the second part, we have, we need to find the final energies, the uh, final kinetic energy has to be equal to zero. Why? Because we need to, we want to find the maximum distance from the equilibrium point. So if this isn't zero, as you can see from here, we're going to find this with h and the potential energy. If this wasn't zero and we have a constant, so um, not not zero but some positive number, this would rise up. So this would need to, you know, um, decrease. This value has to be decreased. So, in order to maximize this value, we kind of take it zero. And you can actually imagine that on the furthest point from the equilibrium, we um, 
the velocity of the object is zero, okay? If you imagine the oscillators, or oscillating bodies, okay? So, the, thus we have zero final kinetic energy and our final um, potential energy becomes this. Now, you might ask why. Why is it like that? So, um, let's just first uh, focus on this area, on the inside of the parentheses. So, we have 0 0.04 plus h. Why? Because uh, at this point, at the initial point, we already had 0 0.04 stretch. Uh, so, that was the distance from the equilibrium point of the spring, okay? Then, now we have something with h, okay? Then, it has to add up, as you can say. I, I think you understand it. And if you think about it a bit, you'll absolutely understand it. Then, uh, why don't we have these kind of products? Because at this uh, level, I call it ground, h is zero, so those factors become zero. Then we don't need to include them. I mean, I could have just written plus zero, plus zero, but, you know, it isn't really necessary. So, writing these, um, and substituting these, you know, um, equations to the upper equation, uppermost equation, we get this very long equation. Yeah, let me just go here so you can see it in full form. So, um, in this equation, what do we see? Which variables, or which unknowns actually? We have k and h. We need to find the h. We have, we can actually drive k from something that is uh, you remember the um, spring constant? How, how do you find spring constant? For um, springs, we have this formula, you know, F equals restoring force equals spring constant times the displacement from the equilibrium. Then we have 0 0.150 kilograms, actually, because our restoring force is equal to the initial um, not mass, but, you know, initial arm, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to use that one. So, 0 0.150 times 9.8, I think you get it, equals k times 0 0.04. So, um, why that? Because we have the initial uh, stretch by 0 0.04 meters. Then we have the k equals 36.75. Then we have... I mean, uh, writing this on here, and thus getting h, we get 0 0.24 uh, meters. Like, I mean, I mean, around 24 centimeters, right? So, um, but in the question, we can't stop here. In the question, we need to find the um, maximum distance from the equilibrium point. So, um, h is not the maximum. h plus 0 0.04 is the maximum because our initial uh, stretch is 0 0.04 meters. Then we have, I mean, some adding up those two terms to um, numbers, we get the 0 0.28 meters, around 28 meters. And this is the solution to this question. Thank you for listening, actually. And if you have any questions, you can leave it on the um, comment section.